Hey everybody, it's BC here and welcome back to Dyson Sphere Program. You gotta admit, it's actually kind of fun watching that. You can actually see sails being launched off a of less than the one there, creating the rings. You can actually watch them appear as the bullets hit, or the, the projectiles, I should say. Uh, I have been paying attention to it and the number of uh, active sails sales seems to be going down. Now that could be orbital periods and whatnot, but you can get a nice view of what we're doing here. Uh, of course, the ones here uh, last longer, so they uh, get more of a ring. I want to do want to try to get into the actual utilization of the creating the spheres. Sorry, yeah, kind of all over the place today. I have done a little bit of research off camera. I did uh, some drone stuff. I got uh, stacking done. And uh, I also want to try to get into refining that fire ice today because we're having hydrogen issues again. And uh, yeah, so um, what else was there? As you can see, I got uh, fusion power queued up. So we're going to be able to make deuterium fuel rods. So I do have deuterium already unlocked, which is here. I'm going to need hydrogen for that. But we're going to be getting hydrogen from the, the gas giant. I might put a few more of those up there. Uh, I also too because I want to get into like making the actual Dyson sphere so I gotta start making these high strength high strength lightweight structures now it's not necessarily these or that it's actually the launch system that requires the gravitational lenses and the quantum chips uh, the quantum chips what do we actually need for those we need the waveform interference so Oh yes, I actually unlocked this after off screen, so I need the high strength glass and uh, the Casimir crystals. Casimir crystals are hydrogen, graphene, and those crystals. Oh god, that's right, more titanium. Alright, uh, let me get my head wrapped around this and I'll go from there. Uh, another, I know I'm multiple, this is, uh, sorry. Uh, the gravitational wave refraction. Uh, this is a lens that we need to uh, again make the structures, but it's also needed to create space warpers. Now, this is actually required, as you can see, for uh, the mech and any uh, any drones to actually use a warp drive, and it's like consumable. So every time you uh, warp, you have to use one. So you can either make it from one of these, which is strange matter and four diamond crystals, or you can make it from an energy matrix, which is the quantum processor instead which actually might be cheaper or a quantum chip because that's just two processors and two of these which is titanium glass which is there two titanium two glass two water and casimir crystal which is hydrogen graphene and high strength crystal which is or titanium and organics <laughs> Fun. That's actually why, let me uh, get back to a proper view here, that's actually why I have these already being produced. Uh, not only am I trying to get rid of the surplus uh, refined oil that I'm making, by using it in here, same with the plastic and all that stuff, but I know I'm going to need it in the future. Uh, we might have to upgrade these things. Uh, I have also upgraded some stacking limits. Now, I have gone ahead and actually made a whole bunch more of these, because I want to see how, how we can stack this stuff. And how fast we can research it. So I think I should be able to go. Oh, wow. Nice. High rise. Build the building of at least seven stories tall. Now, this doesn't really increase the overall research because I'm still limited by what's coming in here. And what seems to be the limiting factor is the red ones and they're the ones that require, of course, hydrogen. So let me place. Uh, Two more on each of these, and then I think we're gonna start bringing in the hydrogen and the graphene from uh, Lesseth Ore, I think it's called. Oh, and that's it. So we should be rate researching an alarming rate. It's just a matter of everything else keeping up. What are we hold? What's holding up right now? The yellows. And the yellows just need more input. And what are they missing? Of course, they're missing these crystals. I gotta find a way to get that stuff mass produced, which means I might have to make a use of all this refined oil. And maybe we'll look at that. Let me get some stuff together and we'll get this going, maybe. 
Okay, well, it's not pretty, but it's work. it works. Uh, I actually have two of them feeding into these two here to keep the research going a little bit better. And these will pile up eventually. I think there's only so much research I can do before I don't need it anymore. But anyways, uh, let's go ahead and start bringing in uh, that... Uh, what are we talking about here? Um, fire, ice, and hydrogen, yes. Fire, ice, and... Hydrogen. Okay, let's set you to remote demand, and remote demand, and it's already in transit. Perfect. But now, I gotta get some hydrogen storage set up. I have made a whole bunch of tanks, and they should be right here. So let's go make... Oh, it's only gonna let me do five. But... I'm thinking... Maybe I should reroute everything to a larger area. But then again, though, it holds 10,000, I think, so. Yeah, 10,000, so we should be okay on that. But what, what I will do is just try to keep this under control. Uh, maybe when I start bringing the extra hydrogen in, I might shut two of these down because I won't need it as much because we're getting extra hydrogen. All right, so now I do need some daylight and I gotta get some logistics in. Hmm. Didn't really think this one through, did I? Let me work something out. I'll be right back. Okay, well, this was pretty easy. I just uh, set up a conveyor and a stack of tanks to it, so I'll hold 50,000 hydrogen, which is no problem. It's slowly funneling out. Guess as long as it... I guess as long as it goes in the tanks faster than it fills up that machine up, then we're okay. All right, so now for the fire ice. The fire ice, I need to have to build another uh, smelting fire, or chemical plant. Uh, for the side that I wanted to come out on, I guess only have one, one side left. Right, what else are we doing here? Nothing, we're just supplying from here. Okay, that's good. Alright, so... Got some storage here. Range utilization too. What is next? A mech frame, so I can get a fast walking speed. And the strange mat. Oh, that, uh, strange matter. Deuterium. Cancel that for now. And we'll keep that going. Alright, well, let me get this set up and, uh, our turn. Okay, fire ice is coming off to the back. Now, the fire ice is actually quite interesting because, uh, oh, I can actually burn this, so that doesn't surprise me, actually. Uh, but it's actually part of another, uh, chemical recipe. Wasn't that one, where was it? Uh,. We'll find out as soon as I place this, th this thing down. Where is it here? There we go. Now, I'm just going to put this right here just because it's convenient. Actually, that's a little too close to the conveyors. Let's move it back. All right. Now, grab the old conveyors. Let's go on this side just because we can. Okay, we'll do that and come across here. And right into the back. Now this... Oh, hang on. I am missing something here. Now, of course, I wasn't paying attention. It was actually a graphene recipe with a byproduct of uh, hydrogen. So that's what we're going to do. Let me hook this up and I'll be back. Okay, I think I'm ready to go. All I have left to do is just place one more sorter down to pull everything out. And that fire I should start rolling. Run over here. Oh, I guess I said recipe. So I got, as you can see, I got graphene coming out this way. It's going back to that container where everything else is going. And then I have hydrogen going back out this way. Uh, I was going to put a sec another buffer of tanks here, but I figured I'd have all this pump into this tank and then have it come out the back and feed the system. And that way it gives plenty of space. So that's doing that thing. That gives us more graphene to make more solar, or solar sails. 
1800 already and 5000 in here already. Oh wow. I'm mean, gonna have to start getting to the next tier of conveyor belt. Alright, so the next thing is uh, we're gonna be getting to that pretty quick here. Let me see where we're at. Okay, what I think we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna go ahead back to Lyseth 1 here and uh, we're gonna get. I think we're gonna. I think I actually wanna get two more rings going. So, or six more rings, I should say. I wanna get uh, another station on the other side. I do have. Right in here. I do have a space elevator. I do have 10 drones, so that I can already you know, start bringing in stuff to get it done. Uh, since there's a lot of iron and copper on the planet, I can make the circuits there already. Uh, the stone I might have to bring in uh, like I did before, but uh, I'll meet you there and we'll see what we can do. Okay, I'm just on my way to Lysat. Uh, Lysat 2 right now, just to see how the stone's doing. I might get some more miners going. But I thought I'd we need to see this. I should enjoy that. I can't wait to get like more rings. And then what's going to happen when we start turning them into spheres? Like, I don't know how this is all going to work. I just know right now they're just swarms. So we'll see what happens. Anyway, uh, I'll be back. Okay, I'm just finishing up here. I have... Uh, I'll let these guys finish. What I've done is basically mirrored this entire setup and have it... I'm pumping over to this conveyor here, and so this is going to get a nice top pile here. Now what I got to do is I got to go to... What I got to do is place one of these there. It doesn't have to be a tier 3, but I'm going to do a tier 3 anyways. Uh, that'll be fine. Alright, so now, uh, like I said, I got to go to, uh, up to... Going up to Lyseth 1. Oh, Lyseth, not Lyseth. Probably rename every, every plant in the system to Lysath because it uh, keeps it calling it that. Alright, so uh, let's see here. We were going to Lysath 1 over here. Pedal to the mandal. We're going to fly right through the whole web of it all. I did, however, went ahead and I just set up some more. Uh, let's actually do this. Oh, maybe I didn't. I thought I had more orbit setup, but I didn't because I have nothing to plan them to nothing to plan them to yet. Now I know in theory I could be uh, using a different planet to build this, but I think this might be the best because it tends to be sort of right in the heart of it all. You could just go right to the sun and start building there. Let's go over here. And we're gonna fly right to the other side of the planet. So let's see what we got over here. Okay, so I am here. I was trying to, like I guess I was trying to increase production at this end, but it's not going to really work out too well because these things only fire so far, anyways. Oh, you're not not close enough. It's already out of out of range, so it does sort of stockpile with them. And it could definitely be fed faster. I might actually look into that. Now, what I should actually do is do what I've done on this side is I haven't been going to a storage so when they don't have line of sight, they can stockpile. Okay, that should do. It does seem to work on this side here because I've got about 4,000 of them stored up already. So anyways, let's go find the other side of the planet. Now, that's going to be kind of difficult. i got to... It's not to be exactly opposite, but I want to look for here. So, let us go. Oh, and I think this is it. That was a good landing. Okay, I'm there. Uh, there, over there. Sure. I do have to tie into the power grid eventually, but uh, anyways, uh, what do I need here? I need uh, the real, the, actually I need an elevator first, uh, elevator, I made one, yes I did, alright, do that, I do have the drones ready too, I should have the drones, I do, uh, I like how it mounts them up there. Alright, so let me get uh, the next set of rail launcher or sail launchers and we'll see how we do. 
All right, I'm still in the process of getting everything uh, set up. I have currently made, I have a, or is it? I have a log planetary logistics system. I'm currently making drones right now, so I can start bringing the, the circuits from here over the other side, and then I have everything else being imported. Uh, I haven't gotten the prisms or the, the graphene yet, and I think it's because the drones in that uh, station aren't powered. Yes. Uh, what I will do too is I want to actually pause this research for now. Pause that and pause that because I think I want to actually start getting uh, the solar sail life retention going relatively easy. So we'll do that one. And then we'll do that one. And we'll hold off on that for now. I'm not too worried about the efficiency, but I want to queue those up on camera so we can experience it together. Okay, I think I am done. I have just set up a logistics planetary logistics station here with a chipset uh, uh, supply. I have made, uh, if you can actually see it here. Where are the guns? I don't know where it is, where the, you know, the guns are. Uh, I don't know if you can see it, but I, <laughs> I ended up building a, a line of... Uh, uh, which we call it uh, Tesla Towers all the way around. Now, it should get me right here. Still don't have power. What's going on? Hmm. All right, we. Uh, oh, I missed something here. Clearly, I have a hole in my grid. Somewhere. Fly along the cables, see which one's broken. That. <clears throat> oh, there was actually a couple of them. Alright, that should be it. We got power, baby. Not much, but we got power. Which actually reminds me. Uh, do I have one? I do. Yeah. We're making it while we're using it. And flicker the entire time. But that's fine because we're going to be getting some more panels going up soon. So what is going on here? Are you guys bringing stuff in? No. Are you actually going to fill everything up first? Oh. Uh, I don't know yet. Uh, let me let this go for a little bit and I'll let you know. Okay, well, I've got the, the circuit issue figured out. I want uh, local demand. Aha! That worked. Now, what's going on with this graphing? Uh, I don't think I'm getting it locally. I shouldn't be. I do not know. Uh, let me go check on that and I'll be back. Okay, I'm almost back, and I just noticed we're almost done the first uh, solar sail life, which means an extra five minutes onto every solar sail that goes up. And then, and about another ten minutes, it'd be another five minutes. All right. Oh, 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 oh! Get me out of there. Oh, good thing I, good thing I hit. Anyway, let's turn this off. All right. Uh, what was I looking for? I wanted to find out what's going on with the graphene over here. And I have that being shipped off here. Do I just not have much in storage? Now what's going on? I'm guessing that's that's the problem. We're not producing it fast enough. How are you doing? You are doing fine. I might actually have to double that up. Uh, hydrogen will be f hydrogen will be fine for a while. Oh yeah, we got lots of this. Uh, let me see if I can ramp this up a little bit, and I'll bring you back. Well, this is interesting. I don't know if you notice this something different about this conveyor line. I was noticing that the, the silicone was stopping or the processors 
And something happened that got my conveyor line all mixed up. What is going on here? Where is it? That's the question. Hmm. I don't even know how raw silicon even got in there in the first place. Can I do anything over here? Let me have a look at this. Yeah, I have no idea what happened. I even have the sorter set to only take out ingots out of the thing, but I don't know how I'm getting... Like, even here. I have ore chunk here, too. Alright, uh... I guess I have to manually clear it all. Kinda sucks. Maybe I'll downgrade that thing. Uh, downgrade it. And then hopefully, hopefully it doesn't take out more than it should, but I don't know how it's even getting to the system in the first place. But that's because that's why uh, this is held up. Basically, I have to sit here and do this every time, or when I put another container and have it filtering out. Hey, there's another one. No idea what's happening. Maybe I'll do that. Okay, that seems to work. Alright, so now I need some fuel. And then we gotta. I gotta figure out what's going on with this graphing delivery. Uh, hmm. Oh yeah, I was uh, I was ramping up production. Okay, I think the silicon situation has been averted. I do have a second chemical plant running the graphene, so we are doing good. I have no idea how much we have there now, but we have 400 here. Let's go to Lysith 1 and find out. And then we'll see if we can start getting another set of rings going. Gotta admit, you love watching it being built like that. Sorry, I'm just scratching my foot. Alright. Um, we won't crash into it. Hopefully we'll aim for a lava lake and burn to death. No, I won't. Anyway, uh, let's see. Aha, headbutt. Oh, look at that. Perfect shot. Alright, are you actually taking stuff in? Why are you not taking graphene in? Hmm. I'm wondering if it only takes from one place or... Good question. Definitely getting the circuit boards done. Uh, let me investigate this a little bit more. Alright, so I think I figured it out. I think it's a supply issue. Because I actually have 200 in transit now. But I think that's what's going on. There's just not enough being produced at the moment. So, what I might do... What am I going to do? I need to get more being produced. I think I'm going to go get build another orbital collector and we're going to get some more of that, uh, that fire ice. Okay, I'm back on here and I think I've got it somewhat working out. I just decided I was going to put some uh, planetary drones in here and set on local demand so it's going to grab from the other station because everything's going in there anyways and I'll adjust it if I need to. And so we do have the circuits coming through. Alright, that is good so that means we are uh, 
we should be producing pretty quick. What's going on here? Okay. Okay. What did I forget? Oh, yes. That always helps. Always got to have those inserters, right? Hey, it's producing. Okay. So, I, yeah, I uh, managed to get the, the second level of soul sale going. We're actually starting to get a fair, fair number. Now, I'm wondering... I'm thinking maybe this planet here, I might keep going with this ring, these rings. I thought about adding another 12, but, you know, not really needed. Although, we have 20 orbits we can deal with. Do that anyways, and, lo and with the longevity increasing, uh, eventually, they should start to stick. But then I think uh, the other things that I've got research the next part, the, the frames where we start making the spheres instead of these swarms might be it. And let's get a nice little sure, I like that. Let's bring the inclination down a little bit more. It will create that one, and then we create two more, and we'll be in. Okay, I got some orbits set up. We are ready to go. So this one here is going to be orbit 7. And this one is going to be orbit 8. And this one is going to be orbit 9. And we go over here. 10, 11, and 12. Now, I did get some of the orbits uh, sort of on the outer ring, so we can try to get some more built when we're not looking. Let's see if we can start to see him up here. I actually like that. You can watch it getting built, being built. Alright, well, we are working here. Let's see how we're doing for supplies. So that graphing. Uh, let me go to the other end and then head back to the main planet and see what the situation is. Oh man, I wish I was recording that. I did a little bit of a flyby, uh, less of two, a little too close. I managed to catch orbit, did a full 360 around the planet, and ejected in the same direction. I was headed at it. It was perfect. Okay, well, I've checked the other side, and uh, it's basically at full capacity. I think what's going on is that one's taking priority, so when it fills up, fills up the capacity, the other one gets gets it. So I'm gonna leave it on. Actually, I wonder if I can have local and uh, remote remote demand. It's more or less, I just gotta start producing more of this. I do have a lot of the fire ice coming in. So I have gone on and set up another refinery, if I have, or chemical plant. If I have to, I'll set up a fourth chemical plant. And I have been working on building another one of these. I do believe I have the elevator. All I have to do is just go ahead and charge more accumulators. So maybe I'll do that and then I'll bring you back. Oh, what do you know? I had 20 charged already. Helps when you when you're prepared, except for this. I wasn't prepared for that. Uh, that is going to be those motors and these rings. And I have to grab what was the last thing I needed. Can I remember? No, I can't. Uh, right, making thrusters. Oh, titanium alloy. I should have known that. Work so hard to try to build the stuff, make the stuff, and now I don't even can't remember what I was using. Okay, now go back over here and there we go. All right, now I gotta go ahead and place these accumulators down, just because. And that quantum chip has been researched. Another headache on the way. All right, I'm going to charge these up because I'm probably going to need them anyways. Uh, put them in the right container first. There we go. All right, now for the research, since we are done all this, uh, we do have to get to the strange matter next. I think we're going to work on that. Uh, gravitational wave refraction. And 
then we're gonna start working on this. This is where we're gonna actually start building our Dyson Sphere, but uh, I need those green little tablet things to continue. Now, as far as the mech goes, I don't think there's too much we really need to do at the moment. Uh, oh, you get some more solar sail life. And not to worry about refraction. I wonder how far we can go with this. Oh, wow. Alas, oh, wow. Speaking of, we should probably check the research. This will actually come in handy, too. Uh, drone flight speed. Alright, uh, what was I... I want to see how the research was holding up. Uh, could be better. And now it's a graphite. It's holding us up now. Yeah, so I'll have to get some more of that being produced. But I think I'm going to call this one here. I'll try to get some of the stuff done off camera. Camera. Until then, we will take a look. There we go. There's my little sphere in the middle. They're starting to grow. Actually, see if we can see it. There's the sun coming up. Could it be so cool? I wonder if you could build enough so many swarms around it that... Uh, I guess you couldn't because you only have 20 orbits anyway. So I was going to say they have enough swarms where you can't actually see the sun, but that's not physically possible. But anyways, uh, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to leave me a like. And as always, I will see you in the next one. Later.